Hey everyone, so excuse the mess and the messy hair, but today I've got a couple new products to try. Um, so I thought I would film it and kind of do like a first impressions. Um, my phone's going off, of course, when I start to film. And I wish we could turn it off. But I'm currently like in the process, if you can't tell, of like getting my new room together still. It's been too hot this summer to work up here, so nothing really has changed too much if you follow my vlogs at all or anything. Um, but basically, uh, today I've got the Pur or Pure um, Cosmetics. Uh, this is the Air Perfecting CC Cushion and Foundation. Um, I really was um, interested in getting a push compact for quite some time now. I just never really actually purchased one because... I don't know, I just, I didn't feel the need to buy one right away, um, but Ulta a while back had a sale on the Per Cosmetics, and I think that's what they call it there, I'm not sure the exact name for it, but they had buy one, get one free sale, and when you open these, they've got, you've got your um, compact here, it's upside down. <laughs> So you get your compact here, and then you also get a refill. So basically, uh, you're getting two two foundations for the price of one, and they had buy one get one free. So I got four foundations for I think this was like forty one dollars or something. So it was a really good sale, and it just actually there's some kids outside. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone to open it's hot up here, so. Anyways, yeah. So I want to try this out. Um, I think I'm, I am going to use, I am still going to use like my primer, my normal primer for this. And I am going to use some concealer because I got some serious under eye bags like that show up on this camera so well. And it makes me look so beautiful. I swear guys, I don't look like that in real life. But <laughs> Yeah, so let's just get this started. Let me get a few of my products over here. Okay, I think I have of the products I need. It's been so long since I put makeup on. I don't even know what to do anymore, I swear. <laughs> um, anyways, I've already uh, obviously uh, washed my face this morning and moisturized and everything. But I'm going to try this Stay Flawless 15 hour primer by Benefit. Um, I have not tried this. This is just a little sample size. I have tried the Pore Professional, but I have not tried this one yet. So, let's see how this works. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this. Like I said, I've never tried this product before. It feels really smooth and like cooling almost. That's kind of cool. So let me just set this here. Kind of blend this in a little. Not too crazy. Definitely feels like my makeup is gonna stick with this. It's like it's on there. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna make sure this is the compact that I have used. Yes, I I had to test the color to make sure it fits. So that's the only thing I've done. So basically you get, you know, your little your little push thing. And then here's the product in here. This stays open. Um, the color that I got, I believe, is medium. Yes, I got the color medium. So I'm hoping that this is going to look good in the winter and in the summer because obviously summer is not going to last, hopefully, too much longer. So, yeah. Hopefully I'm still in the frame. So we have color here and it looks like it's matching really well. This mirror is kind of low for me because 
not in my normal spot. I normally put my makeup on over there, but I wanted to get some really good lighting, especially since I'm obviously trying out our product. So far, I feel like the coverage is pretty good. So. I don't know if you guys can see, but this product is looking really nice on the skin. I just think it just makes you look really nice. I mean, I have a powder too to go with this, but for summer, this just gives you kind of like a nice glow, I feel like. It's just, I don't know, I really like it. Just want to make sure everything is nice and blended. Yeah, this actually, like, this color. I feel like it looks really nice for me right now. I like it a lot. I'm very happy with this so far. With the coverage and everything. So I'm just going to go in. I don't have any new concealers to try. I just stick with my Maybelline one. Um, this stuff works great. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. The price is good. And... It works really nice and it doesn't have like a big strong like odor or anything. I look like I'm about to go play football. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, when I'm doing my concealer, I could just use this. I feel like to blend it out. Since I have it, just use the other side so I'm not getting my two colors mixed. Um, I usually put um, concealer on my eyes as well for like a primer. I'm not going to do too much eye makeup today, but I will put this into prime. Okay, so I've got my concealer and the foundation on. So I'm pretty happy about that. And then I also got the um, powdered foundation. This was also buy one get one free, which obviously powder lasts me a lot longer than foundation. So um, it's it's fine that you only got one, but that's not a big deal. So this is the packaging, but it looks brand new. It still has the little sealy thing on here. Take that off. Color. So here is the color. It looks really good. So I think we will be a okay with this color for a powder. Which in the summertime, you don't really don't want to put too much powder on. You want to keep the nice glowy finish. I mean, I love the way this looks right now. How it just gives you the nice shine. Um, but it's been so hot that I'm gonna get that glowing shine probably no matter what. So. I'm just gonna use some you know, powder foundation. Just to kind of set everything on the face. Especially in the nose area. 
and especially when you girls who film videos it doesn't hurt to powder up a little bit more because from my experience I have definitely had videos where I don't look dewy but then you put this camera on and girl you are gonna look dewy <laughs> Yeah, the color matches very nicely, so i am got no complaints there for the powder. So now that i am uh, got all the powder and stuff, I have um, a new brush. I've got this e.l.f. contour brush. Um, I buy a lot of e.l.f. brushes. I clearly have like tons of e.l.f. brushes. And they're, they're cheap, but I would say they're not the cheapest brushes out there. So it's just kind of nice to get them because for store brushes, these are pretty cheap. I usually buy some of mine like online because you can get like full sets for like really cheap and as much as I don't put makeup on I guess I don't brush wash my brushes as often as I probably should like they probably all should be that's my dog pushing the door open hi baby hi baby I got left alone so anyways I've got a new brush to try here for contouring I'm pretty excited about finally having a contour brush because I usually just take like my brushes and pinch them together and contour but um you can kind of tell like you can see my shadow lines like already I just I feel like I got like really skinny bone structure here so you just already can kind of naturally see my shadow so I probably don't really need to bronze but I got the tantalizer Lorac bronzer here I bought this a while back when they were having another sale and I've never tried it yet so it's got the product here and then if you want you can use the brush on the bottom here as well so but I am going to try out this new brush today so did I close it all the way? I feel like it's not close all the way because it's so I really like the Lorac um, product so yeah, let me just use my mirror down here This brush works really nicely. It's really stiff. And this product, I'm not really seeing it. I don't think this is um, quite dark enough for, well, I guess you can see it on camera, but I'm not really seeing it here. But we'll just get this blended. I feel like glue is a little loose up here in the handle, like I can definitely feel it there. So I'm going to just switch back to my powdered brush to get up here for my contour and just blend it out nicely. So yeah. I think this will work better probably for me in the winter time than it would at the time of now. <laughs> it's kind of um, almost the same color as me. I just get really dark so I think it's my French skin that's what I was told. My mom is like mostly French so apparently French people are dark. I don't know. So anyways, um, next product to try. I have got my new um the graffiti uh what is this the graffiti nudes by maybelline this is only at ulta and the colors in here oh i'm dropping the little wand freaking amazing i'm i'm in love with this this color palette so i'm just gonna go try this out i have got a whole bunch of new eye brushes so I've got plenty to choose from for using. 
close look. Let's try this one here. Let's see how this works. Hmm. Don't want to go too dark. I think I'm in, kind of in love with this color right here. So, I'm sorry, guys. I gotta look down. not very flimsy for the one thing. Let me try. These are really cheap brushes, so they're probably not the greatest quality for blending, but we will make it work. Okay, so we'll just go with that not looking for the expert finish because I can barely see and I'm so sorry if the quality and I'm way down here because I'm using a different mirror just kind of going for a very natural look not going too crazy I'm actually just going to use this for my lid I think I'm going to just use this color here in the corner very bright almost highlighting color I'm just going to dab that on my lids just to pack the color on And now for my final product that I just recently got, it's just this um, liquid eye and it's a purple, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's this purple, so I hope it's purple. <laughs> and so this is just going to be like my little pop of color for my eyes today. I can get this open. I just got my nails done, so if you guys want to see, I just got... My nails done recently. I usually have acrylics on my nails, but it's been a year since I got it because I've had a lot of things I've had to do where I needed the use of my hands without nails on them, but they're not too long this time, so I'm making it work and I just wanted it done, so I went and got them done. So it's supposed to be just a gel liner, so it's just a um, twist one, which this is the kind I normally like to get because I, I really don't like the crayons. They're just not good for me, so. I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line, which it kind of stings a little bit. Probably just because I haven't had eyeliner on in forever. Oh, it tickles. I'm not used to this. So I got my lower lashes done. I am going to do my upper lashes too, I think. Kind of feeling it so get a little bit of a wing going on today just because I'm feeling it. It doesn't really go back in that well, but oh well. I'll be fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Maybe I have a new brush in here. A nice precision brush. Probably not. These are cheap. Like I said. Just to kind of blend this out. I feel like when I first started this, I had a lot of like clumps of fallout. Um, what company is this? This isn't really a company I normally get from. It's just uh, I wrote the tag. Um, normally, I get like a Maybelline or a L'Oreal or something. And just to finish off my look, sorry if my camera was out of focus because I got it for a couple seconds. I'm gonna use my Lime Crime um, lipstick. This is the Airborne Unicorn, is that what it's called? I hope. My dog just made an escape, so this is the color. So we're going with purple today, because we're crazy. I, I really like this lipstick. You guys might think I'm crazy, but I totally love the purple lipstick. I'm digging this. And I love the Lime Crime lipsticks. They're so nice, and they're not like, they're not too drying. Like, they're almost... 
how do I describe this? They just, they still feel like, even after a while, they still feel like a little silky, like you almost have like a little bit of chapstick on. And I really love that about it, so. If you ever buy from the Lime Crime website, like I've heard that they've had a lot of issues, I would definitely stick with using PayPal because PayPal's always safe, so. Yeah. I got these for like a super cheap price. They're having like a ridiculous sale, and these were like. I don't even know, like $3 a piece. I'm not even joking. So I got like a lot of colors. I didn't get them all. Some of them they are out of stock on. Um, I'm kind of regretting that I didn't get the crazy like black and yellow lipsticks because I'm like those would have been probably really good for like Halloween tutorials and they were just as cheap as buying them from like the store. So I will be getting back to you guys on a little bit on how the foundation overall looks at it becomes dark and my quality on this camera is probably just going to go down the drain because all the natural lighting is going to be gone so yeah so I am doing about five or six hour update I think it was like one o'clock-ish when I did this so I just kind of wanted to give you guys a slight update while the lighting was still good for the time it is um Let's see in a regular mirror. I do look a bit oily, but right now I'm really warm, so uh, that's totally normal. Nothing that a little powder I haven't touched up or anything because I wanted to kind of go with everything for like all day. And um, the eyeliner I tried, it does smear. It's not exactly, doesn't stay very well. If I could show you guys here, close it. Do -do 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 -do. You can see it kind of smeared a little bit there, so not the best quality eyeliner, but totally drugstore, so that's totally normal. Um, I can try again always in the winter time. As of right now, it's obviously a little more hotter, so I'm going to be squinting and sweating more, so... Yeah, I did eat my lipstick. It's pretty much gone. It looks more of like a pink now, but totally normal. Not worried about that. Um, I wouldn't want a lipstick that stays permanently anyways, but yeah, that's the, let's just say six hour update because I'm pretty sure it's been six hours because it's like 7.30 now, so yeah, that's your update. So guys, it's been about was it it's been about eight hours of me wearing this foundation I'm getting very sleepy now I have had a very eventful day I have filmed today cleaned um, gone shopping took a nap so um, this makeup has definitely done its wear for me and it still looks very good let's see if I can zoom you guys in um, the foundation here the quality is not going to be as good right now because obviously the sun's down and I'm just doing with the artificial lighting but overall I still think it covered very nicely. I do have some acne scarring going on here and you really can't still, you still really can't see it besides like my you know normal fre freckles and stuff but yeah I'm pretty satisfied with this foundation. Um, my contour, um, the powder that I used, I would say is more for like a powder for me because it was actually still really um, not like super dark or the color it was. It's almost the color of my skin. So this bronzer really didn't act like a bronzer. Maybe it will in the winter when I'm not so tan. We'll try it again then, but otherwise I can just use this as like another powder almost. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions of the Pure um, Push Compact and the powdered foundation of it. Um, I won't use the powder foundation on its own, the coverage. I would say it's not very good, but the coverage and the quality, everything seems to be really good. This is actually, um, I would say, my favorite foundation I have right now then, um, outside of my... Um, the pixie foundation that you can get from target that would be like my second favorite so i'm probably going to be using this foundation from now on um i hope the color stays pretty um 
true to my color for winter but I don't know so we will see but otherwise yeah I'll talk to you guys I'll see you in my next video bye